Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to uh, be appending variables to strings. Uh, we can, uh, just as we can build a string over multiple lines using uh, string literals, we can also append variables to a string using the plus equals operator. Uh, set sum objective and append it to my string using the plus equals operator. So they want us to set sum objective and append it to my string right here using the plus equals operator. Sum objecti objective should be should be set to a string at least three characters. So we want to set this to a string of at least three characters. Um, and so learning to code is, and then ABC. Uh, obviously this doesn't make a lot of sense, but I think that this will pass the test. Ah, I see, we need to append it. So what we want to do is take my string, and then we use the plus equal operator to append some adjective um, and then, yeah, if we console.log my string, we'll see that it pops out with learning to code is ABC. Well, ABC is not very good, so uh, my intention, we could set. And then that'll set that string. Again, this is part of the, um, this part of the string make, using JavaScript to build strings. Uh, I think that it's, it's helpful in terms of a basic idea how to do this, but I think it makes a little bit more sense to do an example in HTML, right? So we could say, um, yeah, we should do the my list again. So, um, you know, list of names, right? Um, we could say, for now, let's just say that it's equal, equal to just my name. Um, let's say that we say, uh, we, want, we want to do is we want to create a an ordered list. So, uh, we could just call this the ordered list and set that equal to, and now we're going to fill it with HTML. So if we get pass the results of this ordered list to a HTML interpreter, we're going to actually get HTML that we can use in our website. And let's say we want to say, we want to, in the ordered list, we can plus, and let's say we what we want to do is with each ordered list we want to add um, a string called L I we want to make a list element if you remember from the HTML elements what we do is we go ordered list and then inside of each ordered list there's a, a line a selection a, a collection of list elements and that's what we're creating here and so then we can add that we can add list of names to this and then the close list And then if we just console log the ordered list, we're going to see, okay, cool. Now there's a problem here, right? Because the ordered list doesn't close. We know that we have an open ordered list, an open LI, a closed LI. What do we need? We need to have an ordered list in there as well. And then so what we can do is go uh, close the ordered list. Okay, so what's happened here is I've just set the ordered list to that. So what I need to do is append it. Great, and so now this works. Uh, maybe instead of calling list of names, we could call this uh, Ian's name. And then let's say we wanted to do the ordered list. We wanted to have more on there. And we could say Paul's name. Cool, and so now if we were to add Paul's name in here, what we're doing is we're generating this. Uh, if we were to do string literals, if we wanted to make it look a little bit more like real uh, code, we could put new lines on each one of these. And then we'd have what's really starting to look like uh, HTML, right? This is properly formatted HTML. So if we were to send this to an HTML interpreter, not only would the code look good for that, but it would also provide readable code for other humans. Uh, again, all of this it's just me kind of giving you a more real world example of it. None of it's necessary. Um, oh, not even all this. That was just a way to generate some real HTML using this uh, string. Um, they call it appending, but I, I think string interpolation is another way of thinking about it. So yeah, if we run the test, it passes. I uh, hope you guys found this video useful and we'll see you in the next lesson.